What is going on Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this episode, a little bit different, we're going to be doing uh, a key forward search. I've got a tier list made up. I've handpicked a bunch of players, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. So let's run the intro, jump straight into it. Just before we do jump straight into it, I keep saying to follow me on Twitch, I keep saying to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I keep doing all those things. It's always Swoop Luke. With Twitch, I've been having a little bit of troubles. My Elgato uh, isn't connecting from my Xbox PlayStation to the Mac. I was supposed to be streaming the new Marvel game. Um, I'm going to try and get that working because I really do enjoy streaming and I really do enjoy you guys tuning in and stuff like that and having a chat with you. So I'm gonna, I've got a day off today, so hopefully I'm going to knock that down and, and see what the hell is going on so we can get started streaming. I'm going to be doing Rock Band. I'm going to be doing a little bit of FIFA. Marvel, you know, I'm a quarter of the way through, but we'll still do it. Marvel, the new Crash Bandicoot. It's going to be nuts when I can get it working, but let's just jump into this tier review. So, we all know that Collingwood need a key forward. We've been saying it for years and years and years. We haven't had a big key forward since Travis Cloak that could command that sort of forward line. Um, sure, it nearly worked off uh, in 2018, nearly coming out with a premiership with Cox as the main stayer, but I think, you know, Cox is getting a little bit older and he, he's not that, fo he is that focal point because our game plan relies heavily on him, but he hasn't got a big enough frame, which is ironic because he's over two meters tall, to be a commanding key forward like a Josh Kennedy or a Tom Hawkins. We do have a lot of project players, Will Kelly, Darcy Cameron, we've trialed up there. Well, when I say a lot, that's pretty much it. Will Kelly we're going to be banking on for the next, you know, 10, 11, 12 years. We saw what he could do against the Hawks. If he didn't have that injury, he'd, he'd be... I wouldn't have to be making this video, really, because he'd be one of those players where we could rely heavily on in the coming years. Yes, he has to put a little bit more muscle on in the gym and stuff like that, but he could be that big bustling forward that we're after. He's very young, and we know key forwards take years to, um, you know, to bloom. So what I've done with this tier list, I've handpicked 12 players who are restricted free agents, unrestricted free agents, or just out of contract, or have no contract, a hint to who I've picked. I'm not looking at players that uh, we could trade for, example like, I don't know, Darcy uh, Fogarty from Adelaide, for example, just off the top of my head, someone like that, or like a Max or a Ben King, like yeah, oh my god, I wouldn't have to make this video if we could just trade for a Max or a Ben King, but that's not going to happen. He's not going to leave Gold Coast, and uh, the other one is a Max that plays for St Kilda. He's not going to leave, you know, the Saints for, for Collingwood. Um, or if, if they want to, it's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of draft picks or a lot of good players leaving for us to get those players. So I'm not thinking about those. I'm just thinking about people that are gettable in the older age bracket. We want the premiership now, or they could be a... Um, part of our system and we build them up. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this tier list. All right, what is going on? So you can see here that I've got a four tier list. I've got all my players here that I've picked. God tier, obviously the apex, that's who we need to go for. Very good, which means that, um, you know, obviously not God tier, but they could help us with the premiership in the next couple of years. Handy, bit of a project player. They're not, um, you know, the 60 goal forward a season, and probably not, well, kind of makes sense, you know, probably not who we who we go for. But of course, this is all my opinion. Um, what we'll do is I'll go through each player as I pick them. We'll start left to right. Um, and all right, let's just jump into it. All right, so we're going to start with Ben Brown. So, Ben Brown, we know he's out of favour at the um, at the Kangaroos at the moment. 27 years old, so, you know, he's probably got four, five, six years maybe in him. Um, out of contract at the end of 2020. There are rumours that he's on the trade table by the Roos. Would be a very good player. God tier, uh, you know, he's kicked 200 goals in nearly four seasons. So, he could be God tier, he could be very good. You know, God tier, you know what? I reckon we're going to put um, Benny Brown in, in God tier just because he's a 
big guy. Yes, he's had a bad 2020, but, you know, with the delivery that the Kangaroos are giving him, he's not, um, he can't set the world on fire. So we're going to put Ben Brown in um, God tier because, you know, he's 60 goals a season in the last four seasons is ridiculous. Well, not this season, but, you know, 2017 to 2019 is ridiculous. All right, next player we got, Jeremy Cameron Bank. I'm not even going to question where he's going. Restricted free agent at the end of 2020. Nearly 200 goals as well in four seasons. And he's only 27 years old as well. So like Ben Brown, he's got, you know, six, seven years um, left in him. The thing with Jeremy Cameron is, I remember before he signed that, I think it was a five-year deal with the Giants, um, obviously five years ago. Uh, we were really into him. Like, I'm pretty sure he, I know he's from Victoria. I think he was a Collingwood supporter. Um, but, but either way, um, we won't have to sell the house for him. You know, we don't have to trade away for him or anything like that. Restrict the free agent. So anything that we ask him. So if we say we'll give you 1.1 mil a season, the Giants say, uh, yeah, we'll match that and, and beat it or, or something like that. Um, to get Jeremy Cameron, we're going to have to, you know, get rid of a lot of numbers in our, in our list. Um, a lot of players on some big money that shouldn't be there anymore. But this is not a video for that. that is, that's a video for off-season and talking about delistings and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, God tier, Jeremy Cameron. We 100%, that's who we go for. But, you know, if he signs for the Giants, let's keep going. Josh Kennedy. So, Josh Kennedy's unrestricted free agent at the end of 2020. Obviously came from Carlton, West Coast. West Coast won the 2018 Premiership because of... Um, Josh Kennedy, pretty much, um, or just just because they had a big, just because they had a big key forward. So, Josh, what the hell? Josh Kennedy, we're gonna put very good, only because he's 33 um, years old, but he also has kicked nearly 200 goals in four seasons. This season, he hasn't um, like he hasn't slowed down. He keeps going. Uh, and unrestricted free agent, you can have a free hit at him. If you say two years, you know, he ends his contract at uh, 35, but you can get one or two good years out of him. He's really accurate. Uh, we know that. And I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't mind him at, at the price if he's willing to come back down um, from West Coast. I know not, not a lot of Collingwood supporters are going to like that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so now we got Jeremy Finlayson. So the cheaper Jeremy from the Giants. Um, you know, he hasn't, he's just really burst onto the scene, but he's kicked nearly 70 goals in the last uh, two seasons, and if you watched the game the other day against the Crows, he pretty much single-handedly nearly kept the Giants in it, and he's only 24 years old, so I want to put him here as, I want to put him as handy, only because I don't think, at 24, we can't really base a premiership around him, he's still a little bit of a project player, because at the Giants, he has Himmelberg and Jeremy Cameron to help him out with um, you know, not, not getting the best defender or anything. But if he comes to the Pies, he is going to have to be that full forward, that key full forward. Um, and, you know, he's going to command the best defender and stuff like that. So he'd be a bit, little bit of a project player. But I wouldn't say no to him. You know, Collingwood supporters don't want him because he absolutely tears us a new one whenever he plays us. I won't forgive him for that push against Grundy in the prelim last year, but I honestly wouldn't mind seeing him. Jesse... Jesse... Ho oh Jesse Hogan is another one. He's out of contract at the end of 2021, but there's rumours that he wants to, you know come out of that uh, Fremantle side. You know, they were paying him, I think, $700,000 a year, according to reports. Um, but there's whispers that he wants out. When he was playing for Melbourne, he was kicking 40 goals a season for the four years that he was at Melbourne. Look, he's only 25 years old. He's a big boy. Um, and, you know, a, a, a key forward that can give you 40-plus 40, 40 goals, 45-plus goals a season is worth looking at. I don't think we will be paying him seven hundred thousand. You know, I'll, he'd be lucky to get four fifty, five hundred um, in a Collingwood side. But twenty-five years old, he's still got, you know, let's just say eight years left in him. And I honestly wouldn't mind him. But again, handy. We're going to put him as handy because um, 
he's just, you know, he's not that big 60 goal forward at the moment. But we know he has had a bit of troubles with mental health issues. And, you know, it, it sucks. Like, it really sucks. And that's what's really kept him uh, back these last couple of years. And also, a couple of injuries. So, if he can get his body right, which it looks like he has at the moment, um, I wouldn't mind him in the Collingwood side. So, we're going to put him as handy. All right. So, the next one we've got is... Cam McCarthy had his contract terminated uh, mutually at Fremantle. He wants to play on. He came out in podcast said that he wants to play for uh, the Pies. He's been kicking when he was at the Giants and stuff like that. You know, 30 goals a season. But, um, you know, he left the Giants because he was homesick. So he went to Frio. And now he doesn't want to be at the Hubs. Um, so it's a little bit iffy. He's only 25 but we're going to say probably not. Um, I don't think he fits the Collingwood, not the culture, just the Collingwood bill. Um, and you're not going to base a premiership um, around him. All right. So the next guy we got is Peter Wright at the Gold Coast Suns. So with Peter Wright, two meter Peter, from all reports, we were very into him at the at the draft uh, of his year. We didn't go for him. He's only kicked 85 goals since 2015. Um... But he hasn't been playing regularly these last couple of seasons. He's out of favour. You know, you got the King brother up there. Um, and Jared Woods keeping him out of the ruck. The thing with Peter Wright is he can play ruck as well. So you wouldn't need Darcy Cameron or Mason Cox in there. Um, but again, you don't want your key forward to be taking ruck duties. You want him to, you know, just stay as your key forward. 24, project player... Look, I'm going to put him as probably not. Uh, we'd have to trade for him as well because he's a restricted free agent in two years. Um, so probably not. You know, these guys that I put in probably not is if we had to pick one of them, we could pick one of them. But um, yeah, just just probably not. The next guy, Joe Danaher. So he's a restricted free agent at 2020. Obviously, we know he tried to get to Sydney last year. as we were asking too much, but now he can pretty much leave for free. The thing with Joe is he's under lots of um, injury clouds and stuff like that. It's his groin and stuff like that. Um, but, God, when he's on, he's on. You could base a premiership um, around him. Between 2014 and 2017, he kicked 170 goals. And he's he's in his mid-20s. If he can get his body right, he could be very good. Like I said, we don't have to trade for him. Um, Essendon will get a pick for him if he wants to leave Essendon, of course. I think a change of scenery would help him out a lot. God, imagine him in black and white. But, you know, uh, one of the Gorani's good mates, so that could be very nice. All right, let's go move on to the next one. Tommy Hawkins. God, 2011 still rings in my ears because of this freaking guy. I'm restricted to free agent at 2020, so, you know, we can offer him whatever. Um, and John can't match it. 39 goals this season in a shorting game. In a 25% shorting game, he's kicked 39 goals. And he's had 100,000 assists as well. So he is a team player, which is good. Key forward, the only thing is he's 32 years old. And I'm hearing that if you want to pry him from Geelong, you want to offer him a two to three year contract. But same with Josh Kennedy. I don't feel like he's slowed down or will slow down in the next couple of years. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I want to put him in God tier. I would love to see Tom Hawkins in uh, the black and white stripes commanding that full line. It's not going to happen, but I would love to see it in there. All right, next one. Taylor Walker, unrestricted free agent in 2021. They reckon he could seek opportunity elsewhere, um, in and out of favor at the Crows and stuff like that. Uh, 130 goals in four seasons, though, which is a pretty good return. Also 30 years old. <sighs> He's hot and cold. He's hot and cold, Taylor Walker. Um, so what we're going to do with Taylor Walker is we're going to put him in probably not. Um, I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of controversy around him. Yeah, you know, a little bit outspoken and, and stuff like that. Um, but probably not. I don't think we make a play for him. I think he goes to someone like, you know, maybe the Doggies or St. Kilda um, to help King out and stuff like that. All right, next guy we got is... A guy that you see all the time, but you don't really see all the time. Justin Westhoff. I'm a restricted free agent in 2020. Um, the Port have been using him as a utility, uh, you know, the wing back forward. But he works best, best as a forward guy. Um, he 
He's 34, though. He can kick a good goal, but um, we're going to put him as probably not. Yeah, we'll put him as probably not. And the next guy, or the last guy we got here, is Paddy McCartan. So we know he was a former number one pick. Uh, he last played in 2018, though, because of the concussions and stuff like that. But by all reports, he's raring to get back into the side. There was talks of St. Kilda probably picking him back up. Um, so good on him if they want to pick him back up. He's only 24. Obviously, doesn't have a contract. You could just rookie list him for cheap. You know, kind of like what we're doing with my check, and then get another one of the big guys to kind of um, work as a mentor. But could you imagine like a Paddy McCart and a Will Kelly patrolling the forward line in a couple of years' time? <coughs> I wouldn't mind that. Big guy. So we're going to put him as handy. All right, guys. So that is pretty much what I've got there. Guys, here we've got Ben Brown, Jeremy Cameron, Tom Hawkins. Very good. Josh Kennedy, Joe Danaher. Handy. Jeremy Finlayson, Jesse Hogan, Paddy McCartan, probably not, Cam McCarthy, Peter Wright, Taylor Walker, and Justin Westhoff. Like I said, this is all my opinion. Um, you could put, you know, you, you could do anything with the, with these guys. You can put them up here and, and stuff like that. Um, what I might do is I might actually save this and download it uh, and put it into on my Instagram so you guys can can do this as well, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, that's it from from uh, from this section. All right, guys, so that's been my uh, key forward search. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave me, let me know in the... All right, guys, so that's been my key forward search. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. We definitely, definitely, definitely need a key forward. One of those 12 guys will work out. Um, but, you know, anyway, just let me know. Just let me know. Uh, I really enjoy it. And like I said, I'll put it on Instagram, at SwoopLuke. Check it out, and uh, you can do your own tier list. But... Until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets, and until next time, double shackers, I'll sweep you later. Ooh la la.